February is American Heart Month with the goal of raising awareness, especially in these times, as we keep hearing more and more about heart problems linked to COVID-19. In fact, according to the American Heart Association, a quarter of hospitalized COVID-19 patients experience cardiovascular problems, and that contributes to about 40% of all coronavirus-related deaths. So we want to bring in now Dr. Mariel Jessup, Chief Science and Medical Officer at the American Heart Association. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. And just make it plain for us for a second. How does COVID mess with our hearts? The heart and heart disease is caused by atherosclerosis, which is inflammation and a fatty deposit in our arteries, the arteries of our heart, the arteries in our brain, the arteries in our legs. It's a diffuse process. And now we know that COVID does that as well. It not only causes a pneumonia or a respiratory illness, but it seems to cause inflammation throughout all the arteries of our body. And so in people that already have cardiovascular disease, the addition of COVID is really problematic and is responsible for the hospitalizations and deaths, sadly. And Dr. Jessup, also frightening, even people who have reported very mild symptoms with COVID-19, other symptoms, are still having heart-related issues. Why is that? We don't know the exact answer. Uh, we think that there is an undergoing uh, underlying inflammation of the heart, or it may be exacerbating the cardiovascular disease that was there before. So it may be that COVID is just um, exposing the underlying cardiovascular disease. And it's difficult to tease that out right now. The American Heart Association has a COVID registry where we have over 35,000 patients that we've tracked while they're in the hospital. And we're about to begin an effort where we're following patients for the long term so we can understand more about what happens over the months following an active COVID infection. Uh, Ma'am, what segments of the population are most at risk for complications? Um, of course, we all know by this time that patients, the elderly patients over 75, seem to be particularly vulnerable. But from the very beginning, we know that people with hypertension, heart disease, stroke are also at risk. And that's kind of scary because almost half of adult Americans have hypertension. Mm -hmm. So it is the same story we hear over and over again. The good news is we can uh, prevent most cardiovascular and heart disease and we can prevent getting sick with COVID by the routine measures we've heard for over a year now, washing hands, wearing a mask, socially distancing. And in terms of preventing heart disease, Dr. Jessup, what can we do, each one of us, to strengthen and, and better our heart health? There's lots that we can do. As I said, most heart disease and stroke is preventable. And it's all the things that we've tended to slack off from over the COVID pandemic. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, don't smoke, keeping your weight as, as optimal as you can, making sure your blood pressure is under terrific control. Get a home blood pressure cuff if you need to. And making sure that you're not at risk for diabetes. It's good to know that we can control some things that can prevent something catastrophic. So we certainly appreciate you laying that all out for us. Chief Science and Medical Officer of the American Heart Association, Dr. Mariel Jessup, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.